Day one, hour three. Casa del Erin has been set up. My dad's training on how to pitch a tent alone is perfect. And I get a view of a wonderful tree and there's my chair. And I have a bunch of neighbors who are right now at the swimming hole. I just changed into my bathing suit and I'm getting ready to go because the swimming hole is amazing. And the cool thing about that Last night I had a feeling before I came here to Tom Brown's tracker school, I thought, okay, the one thing I'm missing is goggles. So at nine o'clock at night, my mom took me to Walmart so I could get goggles, of which I now have. And my dad was like, no, there's no watering hole. You won't need to swim. What are you going to swim with? And, and so I packed a bathing suit with my swim gear, my goggles, my snorkel as well. And uh, I'm actually really glad that I had it with me because as my mom says, better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And I would have run into so much trouble had I not brought my swim gear with me. So off to the swimming hole I go with my new friends, Tommy, two Jens, and then some other people too, who I'm still getting to know. Anyway, this is hour three. I will be back with you shortly. Day one, hour four. I just took a dip in the, um, spring it's so cold i was shivering the moment i put my entire head underwater and i'm still shivering even now so that's why the camera is shaky however it was an amazing experience so far and i can't wait to go in the spring again tomorrow morning and just wake up and the funny thing about me practicing with no coffee it's for nil because they have coffee here. So every morning I will be having a cup of coffee with breakfast. Anyway, that's all for now. So I will catch you guys later. Day two, hour one, I think. I just woke up. It's 545. I have never woken up this early before since graduating high school. I'm on kitchen duty, so I'm going to get ready for that. Day one without coffee. Day four, 7.36 a.m. Breakfast was just called. I just had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and now I'm just taking a nice walk through the forest. You can kind of see my tent right back there. It's my dad's Eureka tent. So it's very special to me and it's like I have a piece of dad here. So that makes me feel a lot less homesick. Hey guys, as you can see, I am no longer at the tracker school. That is because I was pulled out for a medical emergency. I was really upset about that, but I have no energy, not even to cry, because I am missing that school experience. But I did learn a lot in my time there. Sorry, that's my dog. Um now I don't think was the proper time for me to go to tracker school, but I will again, maybe next year or something. Um, I just want to thank everyone at Tom Brown Jr.'s tracker school for being so supportive and helpful, and I especially want to thank Celeste Brown for everything she has done for me. I mean, the first day there, she took a picture of me with Tom Brown, who was the hero at the camp. And then when I told her that I was a writer, she said to me that she would love to read my work and then help me find an agent with the publishing company that published Tom Brown's books. So again, I just want to say a major thank you to Celeste Brown for that. I will never be able to repay that debt. And I just... I really wish I would have been able to continue, but medically I was unable to. So, 
you'll hear from me again later. I just have no energy right now because my heart palpitations have been really, really painful. So, talk to you next time. <laughs>